Welcome to Jige Mojo. So in this 30 days to cat challenge, we are going to cover some very important questions in this day nine. All right. So please uh, pause the video, try the question on your own. And after you have tried it on your own, please cross verify it with the solution that I'm providing you. Let's get started. Let's have a look at the first question. A dealer offers a cash discount of 20% and still makes a profit of 20%. When he further allows 16 articles to a dozen to a sticky bargainer, how much a percentage above the CP that is cost price worries where is listed so there is this dealer all right so what he is doing is offering a cash discount of 20 percent all right so let's suppose the listed price of the article was let's say rupees 100 20 percent discount so rupees 20 is given as discount so finally what do you get you get rupees 80 right rupees 80 so what he says is what they say is after offering 16 articles to a dozen all right 16 articles to a dozen that is price of 16 articles will be how much so this was supposed to be for dozen that is 12 articles right so 18 to 12 divided by 16 all right so this would give you price of one article that he has given because now what he has done is instead of giving a dozen articles he has given 16 articles for the same price so this comes out to be 60 right now he they say that he still makes a profit of 20 percent right he makes a profit of 20 percent so basically this cost price which they are asking which we can consider as x would be equal to 60 minus x and there was a profit of 20 percent hence 20 by 100 right that is one fifth correct so this comes out to be x plus x by 5 is equals to 60 or you get x as rupees 50 and this is the correct answer let's have a look at the second question rate of inflation was 1000 percent then what will be cost of an article which costs six units of currency now two years from now all right so many students find this language pretty difficult so what they are saying is you have to find out the cost of article after two years and the currency in present in present is costing you six units all right and the rate of inflation was 1000 percent so that is it is increasing by 1000 percent it is compounding by 1000 percent this is the only thing that you need to understand over here so as simple as that six is the present rate right it's compounding at 1000 percent so 1000 divided by 100 right uh, this is how we uh, calculate the compound interest right and how many years two years from now you need to find out the value all right this is called the future value all right this is called a future value in finance terms so basically if you go on to calculate this uh, zero zeros will get, will get cancel right and you will have 6 into 11 square all right which is 121 into 6 which comes out to be 726 and that is the correct answer so two years from now uh, the cost uh, of that article would be 726 units let's have a look at the next question and a very good question price of a tesla car rises by 30 percent while sales of the car come down by 20 percent what is the change in the total revenue very good question to test your basic concepts and how you should approach such questions all right so let's suppose the price of the car was rupees 100 all right you can assume anything and the sale was of 100 units right so revenue will be how much price of one unit into sell that is 100 into 100 right which is 10,000 right now according to the new condition price uh, rose by 130 all right I'll change the ink over here so new price is rupees 130 right and the sale of the car has come down by 20 percent so sales is equals to how much 20 percent has come down so 80 units right revenue will be how much 130 into 80 which comes out to be 10,400 right so if you go on to see what is the difference between this two difference is 400 and that 400 is on this 10,000 right multiplied by 100 will give you percentage 00, zero gets cancelled 00, zero gets cancelled and hence what is the percentage change in the total revenue 4 percent that is the correct answer next question cost of a diamond varies directly as the square of its weight all right so cost varies at the square as the weight once this diamond broke into four pieces with weights in the ratio one is to two is to three is to four when pieces were sold merchant got rupees seventy thousand less find the original price of the diamond all right 
so basically the cost varies as the uh, square of the weight right so let the weight of diamond be let's say 10 units right hence the cost will vary by uh, 10 square right because square of the weight and we will add x over here because we do not know exactly we are assuming something over here right so cost is equals to let's say 100x right now after the diamond is broken after the diamond is broken it was broken in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 right so we'll take the square of each ratio 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square and x so this was the cost 30x right so initially around when it was a complete single diamond the cost was 100x and after it broke the cost became 30x right so difference between this price 100x minus 30x is given to be 70,000 in the question right so 70x is equals to 70,000 right 70 so x is equals to 1000 right and hence the original price would be 100 into x that is 100 into 1000 that is 1 lakh and that is the correct price let's have a look at the next question fresh grapes contain 90 percent water while dry grapes contain 20 percent water what is the weight of dry grapes obtained from 20 kg of fresh grapes all right so basically uh this this fresh grapes they have 90 percent of water in them right and 10 percent should be the dry material while the dry grapes contain 20 percent water so basically let's suppose we consider a hypothetical situation where there is 100 kg of grapes 100 kg of grapes now out of this how much would be the water water would be 90 kg right correct 90 kg is water right and 100 kg of dry grapes 100 kg of dry grapes okay which do not i mean which are dried contain still 20 kg of water right 20 kg of water this is given over here that by dry grapes contain 20 kg of water this is normal grapes this is dry grapes all right so basically what they are asking is what is the weight of dry grapes obtained from 20 kg of fresh grapes so 20 kg of fresh grapes would be would have 9 by 10 into 20 that is 18 kg of water and 2 kg of uh, non-water non-water or whatever it is right material right so for dry grapes non-water material would be 80 percent or 8 by 10 right so if any grapes if any grapes are x kg right then 8 by 10 into x is equals to 2 right this is the non kg part right because 80 percent of it contains non uh, water part and 20 percent con contains water part so this 80 percent is equals to 2 over here in this case so basically x would be how much x would be 20 by 8 right which is uh, 4 5 zone 4 2 zone 2.5 kg right hence the correct answer to this question is 2.5 kg so you must have been confused by this uh, question but guys just follow this proper method and try to do this on your own you'll be okay with it so that's all in this video guys please visit us at jkmojo.com thank you